Am I good? Can you hear luck? On the 21st of July 2011, the then Secretary General of the Department of Finance famously said, the Government of Ireland pays its debts, always has and plans to do so. Of course, he was talking about the use of billions of Irish taxpayers' money being used to bail out non-secured bank bondholders. Because the Government of Ireland does not always pay its debts, and certainly not when it comes to ordinary citizens. In fact, a rule of thumb that can be ascribed to successive Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael governments is that the more vulnerable those who are wronged are, the greater the battle they will have in securing redress. Because just eight days before the Finance Secretary General announced that, Ireland, that the Government of Ireland pays its debts, a secret memo was circulated to Fianna Gael and Labour Party ministers. It set out a political and legal strategy. That strategy amounted to a cover-up, denying citizens of Ireland due recourse to the recovery of monies that were illegally taken from them. It is a familiar story and a shamefully all too familiar strategy. From the treatment of Bridget McCall, dragged through the courts in her final months, to Vicky Phelan and the brave cervical check victims who stood up to attempts to bully them into silence, to Louise O'Keefe, to the Talmahide survivors, to families affected by sodium valparite, and more recently, the denial of redress to survivors of mother and baby homes. Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael governments have continued heartless, callous, and morally wrong strategies to deny the most vulnerable their rights. Usually though, when years later the strategy comes to light, the new Fianna Fáil or Fianna Gael minister throws their predecessors under a bus, laments the historic practices and tells us that lessons have been learned. But not in this case, because in this case current members of government are implicated. From Michal Martin to Leo Varadkar to Simon Harris and Helen McEntee, right across the current cabinet are politicians who had a responsibility to care and protect the most vulnerable in our society, but who instead implement and implemented and stood over a cruel, callous strategy aimed at denying our elderly and citizens with disabilities what was rightfully owed to them. And now we have the scandalous scenario where before this House today, Ministers Donnelly and Humphreys, rather than row back on a despicable policy, instead have doubled down in defence of the indefensible. And what does this indefensible government strategy amount to? In one stark example, we learn from the secret 2011 government memo that residents in long-term disability homes were told by government that they were not eligible for the long-stay repayment scheme. But regardless, some did apply and they were swiftly denied. And then most did not appeal because again, HSE and government told them that they would be unsuccessful. However, appeals were made on behalf of 515 such residents. And those appeals were successful. And government decided eventually not to pursue a high court case. The appeals officer had determined that those residents did qualify for the scheme. And the secret government memo acknowledges that there was no legal basis for those people to be charged. Every single resident of such a facility were entitled to a refund. So what did the government do? It quietly refunded just the 515 who had appealed. Not those who had applied but didn't appeal, and not those who didn't apply because they were told they would not be successful. Since at, at, at 2011, at the latest, every Taoiseach and every Minister for Health has known that there are thousands of citizens with profound disabilities, the most vulnerable of all our citizens, who are owed money from the state, and every Taoiseach and Health Minister has hid that fact from those citizens and their advocates, and shame on every single one of them. And I have to say, shame on the ministers who came here today to stand over those actions. Because as of today, according to to the Secretary General in the Department of Health, it appears that nobody in government has ever even sought clarification as to how many of these residents there are that are owed money, let alone made any effort to redress them. Cahirlock, unfortunately, the Government of Ireland does not pay its debts. Not when it comes to our elderly and our um, citizens with disabilities who have for too long been let go, let down. 
I have to tell you and put on the record that we in Sinn Féin will not let this matter drop until the principles of justice and fairness are at the heart of how government respond to these issues. And until those citizens with disabilities, residents of so-called Section 38 and 39 homes who were entitled to a full repayment of the charges that they were made until the money that was taken from them is rightfully handed back.